Welcome back fellow soldiers to this week's developers briefing and that is actually last week's developers briefing number 99. I had to push this one to this week because of time issues but I can promise you this developers briefing is totally worth mentioning and it will definitely add a lot of value to hell let loose with update number 8. So let's dive right into it and have a look at what the developers are changing with the developers briefing number 99. Explosives are a prominent tool in warfare and are a huge part of creating an iconic and authentic battlefield soundscape. They're also an aspect of the game we haven't updated since our initial release into early access over a year ago. Drawing inspiration from different games, real-world footage and film, we have applied our own spin to the sounds whilst maintaining a realistic aesthetic. These will seem louder and more fierce than previous. We have taken a similar approach when creating the new Explosion SFX as we did to our weapon audio. This method consists of using multiple layers that are mixed and attenuated individually in the game engine allowing us to have a plethora of explosion variations without taking up too much storage space. So here we go. The topic of last week's developers briefing, actually the developers briefing 99 is and was explosions. And this is a part that is quite important to me when it comes to gameplay in Hell at Loose. In my opinion, I think Hell at Loose is one of the most realistic World War II shooters on the market right now and that you can play. I really like the environment, I like the gameplay when you are playing in a squad, as a squad lead or as a commander. I like the sounds now even better after the sound update. And I also especially like the realism of explosions and especially also artillery. And until now, as you probably realized the explosions weren't that bad. They were just a little bit dull. In my opinion, every explosion kind of sounded the same in a way, just very near to each other, if you know what I mean. So the variation between those explosions wasn't really that big. And I think you can really, really add a lot of value to and also realism to a game which is a World War II shooter. And I think this will definitely add a lot of value to Hell at Loose if they overwork and enlarge the variations of explosion sounds in Hell at Loose. If you have the time, I'll link it down below in the description of the video. The developers have recorded a video with different work in progress footage where you can listen to the explosions that are still in development and will be in some sort like that released with update number eight. And I'm pretty sure after you have listened to that clip, you don't want to go back to the older sounds. Actually, I saw this video footage that the devs provided. I heard it and after that I played, I think two matches or three matches and there really was a big difference that you can notice um, that these new sounds would make and would implement in the game. And I think, as I said, this one could change Hell at Loose to a far better point as it is right now. Not that it is in a bad state right now, don't get me wrong, but it will help take Hell at Loose to a next level. What will also change with update number eight is not only the explosion sounds, but also the sounds of the vehicle main guns. So that means the developers are also working on the audio of the vehicle guns. Coming up with update eight, there will be reworks of the vehicle's main guns from the Lux 20 millimeter auto cannon all the way up to the howitzer artillery pieces. So we'll also get other sounds, better sounds hopefully, for the artillery and also for some tanks and light tanks. And to give you guys a picture of how this will step up the game, the developers write at the end of the developers briefing, don't forget within the audio settings we have the option to increase the amount of sounds heard at any one time 
just set the audio channel count from low to medium, high or epic, allowing 32, 64, 96 or even 128 simultaneous channels. So if you have a machine, a computer that has some power, if you have a good enough audio card, graphics card, etc., you should definitely set these settings to epic. It will definitely step hell at loose up. Even now, you will be able to hear just a lot more when playing the game. The environment just sounds much better and will also help you when playing the game because you will just hear more what's happening around you. Now, we're already at the end of this developer's briefing number 99, but hear me out. I will have a short talk about the developer's briefing number 100 that is supposed to come out this week. And I also did the last week's developer's briefing this week because the 100th developer's briefing will be kind of a special one. The developers write that they want to collect questions, comments, experiences, and also stories out of the Hell at Loose community. And they will provide and show these things that they gathered to their lead developer, Max. That still looks like Roger Federer. How does nobody realize that? Anyway, um, they will present that to the lead developer, Max. And Max will react to that and will also have a talk about the upcoming way that Hell at Loose is going. He will react to your questions and comments and so on. So if you still have time, make sure to state your stories, your questions, your comments about Hell at Loose, about the development that Hell at Loose went through, about the work that the developers do. I think we can definitely say a big thank you to the developers. I know we all or most of us paid for the game, but let's be honest, for those probably 30 bucks that we paid, um, the content that we get is just amazing and there's just so much more in it than just $30. And I think, yeah, that's a good sentence and statement to end this developer's briefing. I hope you all stay safe and healthy, watch each other. And as always, I'm pretty sure we're going to see each other on the battlefield.